Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Fifth generation fighter aircraft are the most sophisticated piece of military hardware which every air force wants in order to dominate the sky. The United States of America operates F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II which are truly a fifth generation aircraft with featuring some of the most advanced technologies such as stealth and data and sensor fusion. The fighter jet can serve as an information and communication gateway sharing its operational picture with ground, sea and air assets. The F-35 has the most advanced sensor suite of any fighter aircraft in the history including AESA radar, distributed aperture system, electro-optical targeting system or EOTS and advanced electronic warfare capabilities to locate or track enemy forces, jam radars and disrupt the attacks. The F-35's advanced sensor fusion enables pilots to draw on information from all of their onboard sensors to create a single integrated picture of the battlefield that greatly enhances the situational awareness as well as the survivability. Besides US, China and Russia has also claimed to develop 5th generation fighter jet which are Sukhoi Su-57 and Chengdu J-20 respectively. So the US, China and Russia, the top militaries of the world has already fielded their 5th generation fighter aircraft to secure the air dominance. However, Bharat, which is the next military superpower, is still producing indigenous 4.5th generation fighter aircraft which is LCTS Mark 1A and developing another more capable 4.5th generation fighter jet which is LCA Mark 2. But what about its 5th generation fighter jet program? Where does Bharat stand today and how soon will it be able to field its 5th generation fighter aircraft? Can Bharat compensate for the time lost and catch up with the technologies? The development of a fighter jet is a very complex technology as there are zero tolerance for failure. Any possible issue can not only lead to losing a million dollar fighter aircraft but also the loss of life of pilots which is irreplaceable. Therefore any fighter jets developed has to go through series of rigorous testing and trials before becoming operational. Even after development, the fighter jet continues to evolve with user feedback and this is how a matured and a stable fighter jet is developed. This is not few years of work but can even take several decades. The process can definitely be speed up if a country has sophisticated testing hardware and software and operationalize the system soon into forces from where it gets further feedback for improvements. The United States and Russia has developed pretty good ecosystem for developing, testing and operationalizing the fighter jets over the years which has been backed by their export. China has been catching up with US and Russia and has come very close to them. However, if you talk about Bharat, it is still has to do a lot of catch-ups. Historically, there hasn't been the leadership vision to make India self-sufficient in military hardware and the import was an easy option. However, the Make in India has gained huge momentum in the last one decade with Narendra Modi government and there is a huge focus now in achieving self-sufficiency in critical military technologies. The LCO Mark II program is going to play a key role in development of the fifth generation fighter jet technologies as many advanced technologies which are being developed for the fighter jet such as gallium nitride based AS radar advanced self-production jammer pod, data and sensor fusion, IRS system to name a few are also to be used in AMC program. So before we talk about AMC program and its progress, it's important to clearly understand how Bharat is progressing on LCO Mark II development. The defense journalist Anand Krishnan M has shared a very extensive detail about LCO Mark II development on social media platform X. The LCO Mark II has 95,000 parts for aircraft structure, 
out of which more than 85,000 drawings has been released for parts manufacturing. Now this is a very positive news as most of the parts are now out for manufacturing. For the first time, a model-based definition that is MBD approach has been adopted for a structural design and manufacturing process. This means only 3D models with required dimensions will be released and no 2D paper drawings will be used. Another important progress being made in the program is that jigs and fixtures are all getting ready including wings, front, center and rear fuselages. All jigs and fixtures will be ready by October 2024. The wing jigs have already been cleared by CRI. The wing assembly will start by January 2024. The availability of aircraft systems LRUs is now expected by January 2025. The aircraft's assembly and integration will start by December 2024 and is expected to end within six months, that is by June 2025. The rollout is likely to be in the mid of 2025, taking into consideration the current status of the project. The rollout can also be possible without waiting for all critical systems to be integrated. The first flight of LCA Mark II could take place between 6 to 1 years after rollout depending on several factors prevailing then. After the first flight, the fighter aircraft will undergo several tests and trials and if needed, minor modification to become fully operationally ready. We can expect LCA Mark II to be production ready after 2030. So LCA Mark II is happening and the biggest hurdle for the program which was Make in India engine is cleared and the extent of TOT has also been finalized. This brings our discussion to AMC program development. The ex-Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Arkis Bhaduria has recently said in an interview to India Today that the development of LCA Mark II and AMCA should be pushed simultaneously. Various technology related to AMC program is already under different stages of development by DRDO and India has the capability to build the fifth generation fighter jet. The former chief of air staff has also said that AMCA will nearly complete its initial operational clearance in next 10 years and that's a good time frame. He acknowledged that we are little late in developing fifth generation fighter jet. However, it will be mitigated by developing technologies which are bordering 6th generation fighter jet technology such as uh, direct energy weapons, integration, advanced sensor and uh, data fusion and networking, next level of electronics, manned unmanned teaming etc. These technologies need to be developed and incorporated in parallel and may not be necessary to be part of AMC program. Now, we have earlier reported that AMC program has already completed its CDI, that is Critical Design Review. In April 2023, it was reported that DIDU has approached the Cabinet Committee on Security for funding approval. ADA has planned to develop five prototypes of AMCA for flight testing, which will cost close to 900 crore each. The developmental cost of AMCA program is estimated to be around 15,000 crore rupees for which funding approval is awaited. Once the funds are released by government, the program will further gain the momentum. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.